Generally when I see people trying to work out what video editing software package they should choose, they seem to place tremendous importance on certain things and almost none on others. In this video, I'm going to cover one of the most misunderstood features of video editing software, especially when it comes to choosing software for your needs. What I'm talking about here are transitions. To put it simply, transitions are little effects which are inserted in between the end of one video clip and the start of the next one. They might be simple, like a dissolve from one video to the next, or they can be sophisticated, such as the scene gradually fading to black, then the subsequent scene slowly appearing from the black. In fact, they can be especially complex, and when seen on their own, can seem very impressive. When most people first see these video transition effects, they are often hypnotized by the fact that they can create such a dramatic effect automatically with the click of a mouse. Unfortunately, this is exactly what the video editing software makers want to happen. They want you to be astounded. They are simply creating in you an emotional state which will cause you to be far more likely to hit the buy now button. Generally speaking, most people don't have any real hard information or recognized solution for choosing the ideal video editing software application. As a consequence of this, they will usually tend to possibly take a guess at what they believe may be good, or they fail to put into place any decision whatsoever. The video editing software creator's solution to this situation is to incorporate into their program stuff that will appear interesting to a normal person and might cause them to make a buying decision. So let's take a look at the real situation and keep the emotion out of it. Most of the mainstream video editing software programs will offer you an array of video transitions, generally a great deal more than you could ever need. To evaluate transitions properly is rather simple. All you have to do is watch a few TV shows and some movies to get the idea. While you're viewing, don't bother following the story. This is research. Instead, watch the transitions being used from scene to scene that the professional editors are using. You'll see straight cuts where no transition is being used at all. The scene simply just switches immediately to the second scene. You'll see dissolves or crossfades where one scene melts into the next one, and as a variation on that, you may see the scene fade to darkness just before the next one appears. Apart from a few rare exceptions, that represents the totality of transitions being used by the pros. The real purpose of transitions is to move the story forward in a way that holds the viewer's attention on that story. This holds true regardless of what kind of video project we're talking about. What the transition is not designed to do is pull audience attention off from the narrative. If, for example, the viewer is happily following along with your video, then finds himself mentally noting the cool effect or the transition in any way, then he's not actually following your video anymore. This is the opposite of what you're wanting to achieve by editing your videos in the first place. The bottom line here is that even the simplest video editing software on the market today comes with an absolute bucket load of transitions, which you can additionally tweak and adjust on top of their preset parameters. If you are in the market for video editing software and are trying to work out what is important and what is not, you can safely dismiss transitions as being of any relevance. All the good programs have them, and they all have more than enough. For more specific help and guidance on choosing video editing software, go to www.myeasydata.com